welcome back to my channel so today I'm checking in having put in the kilo of worms the last time we were here this is the top feeding tray now over here is the second feeding tray here we have the inoculating tray the sump and then over here I have what is now the empty tray you can see got a little worm don't want to escape in so we'll put them down in the bottom they're still not coming up well they're coming up somewhat and filling it with the castings to hopefully start breeding back up in here but the weather has been uh, well dramatic just recently to say the least and obviously I've upset this uh, tower quite a bit uh, in doing what I've done so I just need the, these worms to settle down and sort themselves out anyway today I'm having a good check on them and uh, giving them a feed so as you can see there are some sprouts in here and I did wonder what they were at first because I knew I hadn't put anything in here um, that actually sprouts I don't put anything of seed in here but it's actually a grain of some sort which I'm not quite sure where it came from um, but it might have been in the uh, bedding that came with the new worms because I did put all of that in this top section now this section here across the middle is uh, depressed down and you can see just how this has already been broken down by all these worms I had in here so uh, I'm going to have a look and it, as you can see nice big pile of worms I've got a bucket under here as usual um, so that none of these worms are resting on the floor this is just bedding I want to aerate this through and uh, these worms are doing a fantastic job already there are absolutely tons of castings in here compared to what there was before which is exactly what I want I can actually hear them uh, the castings dropping through still haven't figured out how to stop this back screen from trying to constantly switch itself off which is annoying because come on GoPro why would you create a camera where you can't see through the back screen all the time and I can't see what I'm doing how frustrating please sort that out so here you can see these wonderful big fat worms doing their job and I did leave in this carrot <laughs> My worms don't seem to like carrots, and this is a baby carrot. This is an organic carrot from my garden, and it hasn't been frozen. A lot of people do freeze um, their foods down, and I have got food in the freezer for them, um, which I will start using, but I've got different food for them today. Still finding bits of plastic things that I've used from packaging dear companies stop shredding plastic it's annoying so yeah these worms have done a fantastic job and there's quite a lot of bedding in here so as you can see these worms have really really gone through it Look, another bit of plastic what is with that I don't shred any plastic, so I know it's not me that's done that. Um, I don't know what 
Oh, that's off. Oh, it might be actually off this. <laughs> this is the avocado pit that I've put in here. As you can see, it's starting to uh, take all the lining off it. Flipping flies. So, yeah, it's. Uh, There it is. So I'll keep that in there. So what I'm going to do with those is just leave them be for a moment. Another piece of plastic. And um, we're going to create... So I fed this tray down the middle last time. And uh, this time, what am I going to do? Yeah, so the other tray was fed here. I'm going to swap those over and feed them here because this one keeps depressing and I'm going to feed this tray along this side. So I'm just going to create that there. But what I have done, I'm going to have to nip back into the house to get the bed in because that's what I forgot to fetch in. And you get uh, brain fog and you've got to remember there are a lot of different elements to things. Your mind knows you've got to do something but it's not until you've got to do it all together that you remember the bits sometimes that you've forgotten but yeah I'm well in oh, another bit of plastic so that's that tray which I'm immensely pleased about because I don't think the worms that I'd got could have got this tray to this stage so quickly so it's been two weeks since I released all these new worms into here and um, I didn't find any of the uh, sweet potato that was in there. I'm exceptionally tired. I'm really sorry. So my brain's, um, I think that's just a right little bit of it that's left. Uh, I'm really struggling because I'm in a lot of pain as well. We've gone from heat waves to it being seriously cold, windy and storms. Our weather is nuts at the moment. So I'm just going to go and get the bed in before we look at this other tray and I'll be back. So I'm back. Right, so this tray is the second feeding tray and was fed along here. And of course this was originally the inoculating tray that hadn't actually been started all that long. It was started last year, but it was started in the winter. So my worms obviously are just ticking over through the winter and that's why I've done what I've done. Trying to encourage, um, sorry, out of breath now because I had to go and get the bedding. But trying to encourage a greater production by putting more worms into this tower now that I've got a greater microbe system in it. And um, as you can see, there are some castings on the top. I don't expect to find as many worms down here, but um, this side where the feeding section is has depressed down. And I did feed this last time as well because it had done before. So we shall have a look and see what's going on. And there we go straight away. Look, all these worms. So I wouldn't be able to do this. I wouldn't be able to have um, two big uh, trays that I could feed a lot because that's the thing there's no point in putting a lot of food in these trays if you don't have the worms to cope with that so in here I'm seeing look that's lettuce now that's a quick food um, and that should really be gone um, but also you have to give time for these worms to move about and this tray it is moist but it's not quite as moist as the other because it was a lot of dry bedding um, so yeah it is still quite dry on this side um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm not actually going to put 
um, bedding into this one. I'm just going to feed it and um, and see how I get on with it. Um, and just do that, and uh, so that this one becomes a, a lot more moist instead, um, and do that. So the worms have moved down, but they're not all throughout this bin like they are on the other side, because this one is drier. Um, so yeah, but we can start getting them and encouraging them to come down in here. Um, and they will move down and over to where the food is. That's another reason why through the summer I like feeding in strips to encourage them to do that as well and to move around throughout the tower. So uh, I'll show you what food I've got for them. Um, let me just get some bedding in this one. I'll know that there's no plastic going into this because this is all my own shreds. And again, I'm using a micro cut shredder for this. So that's that. And then in here, you see, I've got quite a horrible soup. Uh, horrible to us, but the worms will love it. And then there, there are, it's lettuce, um, cucumber, strawberry tops, uh, and a whole host of things that have gone absolutely horrible. And I've left it on purpose because it might be horrible to us, but it creates a microbial system and uh, specifically for these towers it's what it needs and um, the worms will absolutely love this and uh, so yeah not only that but this bedding in the second tray will also need it so that's going to go on there um, so whilst it is a little bit disgusting um, it smells awful. So I'm just going to mix that into there a little bit so that that cardboard and this cardboard soaks it up so much better as well when it's this micro cut instead of the harsher stuff, the bigger stuff. that out of my way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour that, the rest of that into there and I'll use some of the paper in a minute and then I can uh, mix some of that through. Because under this tray as well, some of the companies, you can see this is it here, um, they just put cardboard, it's not a shredder as such, it just cuts it. So on the bottom of this tray, that's what this is. So it'll get into all that. The worms like to go through it. Uh, then what I have is the usual ground eggshell so be careful with that when you put it into things when you take it out of your grinder do it outside because you can see there's the see that you don't want to be breathing that fine dust into your lungs because the little worms do have a gizzard like a bird and they need that so they'll be getting that And then, oh, 
This is the worm chow that I ordered from Yorkshire Worms along with all those beautiful worms and they can have a sprinkling of that to go on there too. There we go and just give that a little mix in and tuck them back in bed. You can go over there. are hermaphrodites even though they do need to mate um, to be able to produce their cocoons. But there we go, took them all back in. They're just fabulous. Okay. <laughs> Aren't they wonderful? Well, I think so. I mean, I know not everybody's into worms. My mum isn't. My mum doesn't like worms at all. They freak her out a little bit, but I think they're wonderful. <laughs> so there. Now they're all cosy tucked back up. I'm going to show you the little breeding bin. So I'm just going to get this tower back together because I need two hands to do that. And then I'll show you the little breeding bin I've got going on. We'll have a look at that. 